I scribbled a little description of myself, oh, which is very pompous, actually. What am I? Answer, the cheerful inventor. <laughs> End of answer. Yes. Many of the groupings were, in fact, very ad hoc and very surprising, and it accounts for some of the ad hoc and surprising things that finally happened. It was paper architecture. By implication, it was drawn. It was at the end of the sort of conceptual era, so uh, drawings did two jobs, or well, maybe three actually. They, I think on the one hand, they, they tried to represent concept and idea. They were design drawings and they were beautiful. I mean there was a real tendency to make truly exceptional drawings. Charles Jenks taught here in the 70s and he wrote about postmodernism so he was the man but he just gave lectures twice a week. Architects shouldn't be given any more uh, freedom in the design of buildings than they have at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you know, work was one big laugh, actually. I mean, I'm not saying that we, you, it, we were here to play. I mean, we worked really, really hard, always did. But um, it was fun, too. And so it, it, there was no differentiation between your work life and your social life. It was very much, you know, the AA was part of your social life. It almost became, it was like a family. It really, I mean, it really, really was. Whatever order we perceive is only the surface of reality the explicate order. Mechanical causes and effects, the appearance of distance and separation, and even the nature of time and space are all enfolded in the implicate order. I think that there is a great deal, and, and again, funny enough, this school is magic. Oh, it's over. That's it. Thank you very much indeed. That's the end of the series. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>